probably one of the worst decisions my parents ever made is they bought me a book called Backyard Ballistics, which is essentially a way to build lots of things that explode and go boom. I destroyed many things that were working that became not working. I've been volunteering for the North Carolina Science Engineering Fair, which is based out of Raleigh, North Carolina, for about five years now, and I've put in maybe thousands of hours. <laughs> Andrew was one of those um, students that as soon as you got around him, you could sense that there was something unique and something extraordinary about Andrew. Andrew felt that he wanted to give back. He felt that the opportunities that he had had, places he had been, the awards that he had received, he wanted other students to be able to share in those same experiences. Junior year of high school, my dad thought that maybe science fair would be this great thing to help me get into college and, and would be a useful thing. And, you know, I was off playing tennis and having a good time with my buddies, and it didn't sound like a great idea to me at the start. Um, eventually, uh, you know, I entered it in the science fair and at my school and then county and then regional fair and then on to the state fair. And I was very blessed to be able to win there and then go on to the international science and engineering fair. Um, and was very blessed to get to win. And we got an email one day saying, I'd love to hire you as a consultant to design some wind turbine plates, which was just crazy. Because of my research, I ended up getting, it in, getting into NC State and getting a scholarship there, which kept me in the triangle and in the area. Well, that really was what kind of set it in motion, was him saying, hey, I'm around, I'm gonna be in Raleigh, I'm here at NC State, let me know if there's anything that I can do. So I just showed up and I did a lot of the things that I did at, at the start of the fair this morning, just running around, putting out fires. This person is missing a piece of tape to hold this up, and I was getting tape and paper clips and stuff like that. It wasn't really very much into the very first year as a volunteer that one of the thoughts that we had was, you know, now that we're a nonprofit organization, um, how about if Andrew actually became a board member? I went from the paper clips and the tape to then starting to um, plan the volunteers. Andrew definitely paved the way, not only in bringing forth the student perspective for us to consider, but he also went and talked to some of our potential funders and was able to share his experiences. When I'm at a science fair, I love talking to the really young kids. Um, they just have so much passion, so much energy, and they have just a totally uninhibited creative mind. And that's something that is really important for solving the world's biggest problems, is having this idea in your head that there's no problem I can't solve. So it's really neat to be able to go back and have an opportunity to think that way. He's highly motivated, he's focused on helping to leave things better than how he found them. The little elementary school kids down there who have baking soda volcanoes going, I mean, they're going to be the future doctors. If I can have any role in inspiring them to make the next vaccine or you know, design the next airliner or whatever, that's, that's a real honor for me to be able to have played some minuscule role in that.